Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video we're going to be looking at docker containers and backing up the volumes. So we're going to set up a bit of a scenario in this case and we're going to be running Nextcloud uh, with a MariaDB database in the back end. We'll create these two services uh, using Docker Compose and what we'll do is we'll, we'll log in, we'll set up Nextcloud, we'll add a couple of files and then we'll shut the servers down, we'll back them up and then we'll just act like destroy the containers and the volume so there's nothing left and then we'll recreate it using the compose file close the services down and then restore all the files start it up and we should essentially have our next cloud all up and running again so the idea is just to show you how you back up your files and then also how you restore them now we'll be using nextcloud as the example in this case but uh, as long as you know what files you need to back up and where you can restore them, the principle is the same. So let's get into it. So we'll start here in the terminal. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, if I do an ls, we've just got the one docker compose. So if I go into here and I'll show you the compose file, you can see here that we're creating two volumes, uh, a nextcloud volume and a db volume. And we have the database service here, which is using MariaDB. And uh, we're creating the, we're using the database volume and this is where it's mounting. So we need to make sure, you know, when we start using stuff, this is the uh, directory that we back up. And then we're just setting some environment variables and some passwords. And then also we're creating app as well, uh, which is the actual front end for Nextcloud. And it's linked to the database. And this is the HTML file. Uh, sorry, folder uh, that we're backing up, but there's also another one uh, that I need to back up, which is config, but I'll sh walk you through uh, all of that. Um, and then we're just yeah, setting up general environment variables. So this is all the stuff I just need to set up Nextcloud. Uh, if you're keen on knowing how to set up Nextcloud, I've got videos for that. Uh, we're not going to cover it in detail here. I'm just showing you the compose file that I'm working with. So if I get out of here and we do a Docker compose, up hyphen D. So this will create uh, everything in the compose file and run it in the background. Now uh, it should just be running on port 8080. So now if we jump to our web interface, we should be able to see it. Right, so we're in here. Let me just remove uh, this path up here, which isn't relevant. And now we are in the cloud. Let's make this a lot bigger. And let's start setting up our first user. Uh, we'll just call it ad, uh, admin. Uh, we'll give it a password, a super strong password of admin, and install. So again, well, all I'm doing is just getting this set up just so I can add some files to it so we can actually make sure that, you know, and showcase things are being backed up. I could probably just show you with just using the user, setting up a user, deleting everything, and logging in with that same user, but it will be cool to showcase some uh, files and stuff as well. So we'll just wait for this recommended apps to come up, and then I'll uh, close it like this and go back to Nextcloud. Close this and then we will go uh, to files and uh, here's some files I prepared earlier, which I will drop in. So we're just going to drop some files here, right in here. So um, what we've got here, just so you can see, we've got a, a ship, um, a server rack, <laughs> server racks and uh, a journal, I believe. Yep. And a journal. So these are the files we need to make sure um, actually get carried over and backed up, right? So. What do we do? Let's start backing this stuff up. So let's jump back to our terminal. And this is where, where, where things really start to matter, right? This is where we're getting into the nitty gritty of backing up. So there's essentially two steps to this, right? There's the backup and the restore. So at the moment, we're going to go through the backup. So here's a command here, and I'm going to just kind of go through it for you. So we're going to do a Docker run. So we're creating a container. We're using the RM flag, which means after it's finished running this command, just delete the container because we don't need it anymore, right? Then we're saying mount the volumes onto this container from the database, right? So we're going to grab the dart any the, the volumes that are attached to the database, the Nextcloud database, we want to attach it onto this container. Okay. And then uh, we're going to create a, a binding mount, which is this is two different um like storage types that you can do. You can do volumes, you can do um, bind mounts, which is uh, just folders on your host machine. Uh, those are directly uh, attached to the container uh, so that, you know, then it's files rather than an individual volume. So we're going to say the files in this directory, in this Nextcloud directory, is where it will be 
mounted to the Ubuntu server. So when it creates the backup files, they'll be put straight onto my host machine. You'll see this in a second. Uh, we're gonna use the Ubuntu image and then we're gonna run these commands. So we're gonna uh, create a tar file uh, called backup and inside of that backup, we're gonna grab everything in that MySQL directory. Uh, so we're saying change into there and then we wanna copy everything in there. Uh, that's what that dot means. And that's pretty much the same commands we're gonna use across the board. So uh, before I run that, we wanna stop our containers. So we'll do a docker compose stop. This will stop all the, um, the, the app and the database. There we go. And now we can check this. So docker container ls hyphen a. And we can see that these have now stopped, which is great. So now we can run our copy commands. So let's run this one first. It's going to back up everything in that MySQL. And we can do an ls now. And now we've got that backup file. Kind of bad practice at calling it just backup. So actually, I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to rerun that. And I'm actually going to make sure it's called backup db. So I know it's actually for the database. There we go. So now we've got the db one. Uh, now what we'll want to do is paste in this one. And this one is now looking at the app, right? So the first one was grabbing the, the database volume. Now we're grabbing the, the application volume. Because database is all backed up. So we don't have to worry about it. And we are actually going to back up the data directory on this one. So let's run this and we're going to save it as backup data, right? Hit enter. Those are all copied over. Now we want to do the config. So uh, backing up the config directory and we are uh, again backing it up on the, the actual uh, Nextcloud front end. Not, this isn't any of the MariaDB stuff and we need to make sure we back that up. So now if we do an ls, we should have three backup files. We have a config, a data, and a DB. So these are all the files we should need to be able to restore Nextcloud. Um, so if we jump back to the uh, web page, right now, if I do a refresh, everything stopped, right? But if I if I started it again, it would be fine. No, nothing's been deleted or anything like that. So we need to blow away everything, right? So let's do that. And if we do a Docker compose down hyphen v so this will say this will remove all the containers and also the volumes that were attached to it so let's do that and um what we can do here is now do a docker container ls a we have no containers nothing stopped either and let's do that for the volumes as well so docker volume ls and there's nothing there as well. I don't think that A flag works in the volume, no. So it's just Alice. So we've got no volumes, we've got no containers. Oh no, our next cloud has just gone away. We need those files. How do we get it back? Great, so what we'll do um, is I'm gonna do a docker compose up, hyphen D, create all our next cloud stuff, right? Now, what's gonna happen here? Okay, let's let's jump back to the web page and let's see what our next cloud looks like. We haven't restored anything, this is just next cloud fresh out of the box and we can see here it's wanting us to create an admin account again we've got nothing here we have to restore it right so let's restore it so we jump back to our terminal and now we can run our restore commands now all of these commands are going to be in a book stack documentation and there'll be a link to it um, in the uh, description so all of this all the commands i'm using and notes around it will all be in the description for you, okay? So what we wanna do is make sure we do, uh, stop everything, docker, compose, stop. We don't want anything running while we're wanting to restore our files. So now let's restore. So our first one is it gonna be our database. So going over this command again, um, we, uh, same sort of concept, we're mounting the data, the, the new fresh database volume, it's got the same name. Um, and we're going to make sure it's all linked up again to our local directory where the backups are stored. We're going to change directory into MySQL, and then we're going to grab the backup database file and extract everything in that directory, right? That makes sense, right? So we'll hit enter, and it's just dumped all of our backup files into that MySQL for, uh, directory. And now we need to do the same for the, uh, the front end. Here's the front end again, I'll quickly cover it. Uh, what have we got here? We've got, uh, we're using the app this time, not the database. 
we make sure we're in the data directory and we're going to back up, uh, extract the data back up into there. Let's just fully cancel that. Make sure I add my quote that I was missing. Let's clear this up a bit, clean it up. So that's that one done. And now we just have the config left to do. Same sort of concept, done. Now, I know I ran rushed kind of through that, but feel free to kind of go back if you need to and just get an idea. But it's actually a straightforward concept. What we're doing is we're creating a Ubuntu image that's acting as our middleman on all of this, right? We're attaching the, the volume onto this Ubuntu. It's acting as our like little middleman host, it's getting it on there. And we're either pulling the contents from the volume or we're adding it. And the Ubuntu image is just adding as our middleman for that. It's either backing it up and storing it on our host machine or taking it from our host machine and putting it on the volume. The container destroys itself, but the volume stays. Then the volume is then either, um, you know, is then backed up and restored onto the next cloud, uh, the MariaDB and the next cloud front end, and then all is good. That's all that's happening here. So if we do a Docker compose start and hit enter, start everything up now we jump back to the web page now we're seeing this create admin account we should be all restored now so let's do a refresh cross our fingers our backup worked there we go so now uh if we do admin uh and what was my password i can't even remember what my password was was it admin there we go so if we go to our files our three files we added our pictures should be there so let's check Da, da, da. Yes, look at that. One, two, three. All our files were restored uh, correctly. So, uh, how long was that? That was about 14 minutes or so, um, just to run through that. So, just to kind of cover that again, all we've done is we created a Nextcloud container, uh, a composed file, sorry, that had a MariaDB database and the Nextcloud front end app. We've then created, we've stopped the, well, we've set it all up, we've stopped the services, and we've created a Ubuntu image that only lived to run the commands. And what it was doing was attaching the volume of the database and the, um, the Nextcloud app onto the Ubuntu image. The Ubuntu image then pulled the contents off of that volume that it needed, and then put it onto my host machine, which is my MacBook, right? And then it stopped. Command, the container just disappeared. It was, it was done its job. That was just our backup cycle. Now, just think of this long term. That's our backup cycle, and that's just how it was long term. Now, our Nextcloud database and app just disappeared. All the volumes attached to it disappeared as well. That's no problem because we had our backups. And then what we did, we restored out everything from our compose file. We stopped it. And then what we've done is we've restored all of the MySQL files that were there and uh, into the database, into the volume by mounting, having that middleman Ubuntu image again, adding the volume, which is now empty, by grabbing our backup files and extracting everything into where they needed to be in those volumes. So um, yeah, that's essentially using volumes, backing up volumes and restoring volumes. Um, so I hope you found that interesting. If you've got any questions or whatever, uh, leave a, a comment in the description and I'm more than happy to help. Uh, comment in below, not in the description. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.